again today with my beautiful friend Karen. And today I am transforming her. I almost said transitioning. She's not transitioning. <laughs> She's transforming. Are you excited? Yeah. Yay! To start with, I am spraying a heat protectant spray over her entire head and then I'm going to brush it through. And then I'm taking a 3 quarters inch curling iron and I am curling very small sections of her hair. I want these curls to be really, really tight. Make sure your sections are about the same size and even. And then I'm going to pin the curl them into place and I'm doing this all the way around her hair. And I am making the curls roll down away from the part. So now I am going to start her makeup with a little bit of foundation primer and I'm applying this with a brush. Then with my beauty blender, I am going to apply foundation all over her face and she actually has beautiful skin so I'm going to do a really light application of foundation because I don't want it to be too heavy. I want her natural skin to shine through. Then I'm going to do a little bit of under eye concealer under each eye and then I'm going to blend that with a brush. You can also use your beauty blender or your finger for this part as well. I just like to use this little concealer brush. Then after that, I am going to put some of the same concealer on her eyelids. You can use an eyeshadow primer also if you want, but I'm just using the concealer today because it works just as well for me. And then I'm going to set that with a translucent powder underneath her eyes with a small brush and then on her whole face with a larger brush. Then I'm going to do some nice soft pink blush on the apples of her cheeks and then we're going to start the eyeshadow. So I'm going to start off with this sort of light color. I'm not using a white because she does have a darker complexion so we don't want it to be crazy stark white. I'm going to do a little bit underneath her eyebrows and then a little in the inner corner of her eyes. And then I'm going in with this nice dark purple and I'm really accentuating the crease of her eye. And I'm going down a little bit onto her eyelids, um, but not completely. I'm kind of doing a sort of triangle shape in the corner to give that sort of sexy, smoky look. And then we're going to do her eyebrows and I'm doing a sort of reddish eyebrow wax and just keeping her nice natural arch and just thickening up her eyebrows just a little bit. And then Karen's gonna do her eyebrow dance, and then she's gonna check out our friend and show her amazing eyebrows. So next I'm gonna do some eyeliner, and I'm actually doing this a little bit thicker than I've done the eyeliner before because we want this to be sort of a real sexy look and real vampy. So the thicker the eyeliner, the better, and I'm doing a thicker wing on this as well. Then I'm gonna coat her eyelashes with some mascara before we apply her fake eyelashes. And these are just nice winged eyelashes, so the outer lashes are much longer than the inner lashes, and that's what's gonna help with that super vintage sort of eye look. Then I'm going to fill in her whole mouth with a nice red lip liner. And then after that, I'm using a liquid matte lipstick, and I'm covering her whole mouth with this. And she has big, beautiful lips that I wish I had. A tear is tracking down my face right now. So now I'm going to take out all of her pin curl clips. And after I take the pin curl clips out, I'm going to run my fingers through those curls just to loosen them a little bit. And then on the top of her hair, I'm just going to section it in small sections and then tease those small sections. And I'm actually going to do this all the way down to her ear. I'm just showing you the top section right now. But ta-da! I'm doing the whole front section. Then I am using some wax to smooth this before I start in with my brush so that all the fuzzies sort of settle down. And then once I've smoothed all that wax, on, I'm going to take a smoothing brush and sort of smooth that outer layer so that there's no frizzy hair left or teased hair left on the outer layer. Then I'm going to spray with some hairspray and then give it one more smoothing. And then with my paddle brush, I'm going to brush the ends of this hair so that when it pulls forward, these pieces all lay together nicely. So I'm just pulling forward over my hand and then sort of arranging the hair how it looks best. Um, I'm going to put a duckbill clip here in the front so that I don't pull down on that hair while I'm arranging, but I'm really just sort of smoothing and pinning and arranging the curls where they look best. There's no direct science to this, it's just kind of a um, use your eyeball. And then I'm going to tease the ends with my smoothing brush, teasing brush, whatever. And I'm doing this all around the whole back of the head, keeping the top of the hair smooth so that just the bottoms are sort of teased. Then I'm going to go in with my hairspray and I'm going to spray all this into place so if there's anything poking out, I'm just going to sort of um, push it all in so it's kind of one little mass of curly hair. Then I'm going to pin the hair behind her ears and she's done! So this was Karen before. This is her sort of normal everyday style and her normal everyday makeup. And she just ate her thumb. Stop eating your thumb, Karen. It's not food. And this is Karen after. Look how beautiful she is. Yay! This is her very own dress. Um, hair and makeup by me. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys enjoy my style swap series. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys next time. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching my video and be sure to check out these latest videos that I have posted and also be sure to click the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you can see the new shenanigans coming your way.